guys, good to be back with you again. Hey, it's um, the week of Valentine's Day. And so I thought in light of that, um, I would share with you for just a moment the word love out of 1 Corinthians chapter 13. You all, uh, if you've um, read your Bible, uh, this is one of those wonderful chapters, uh, 1 Corinthians 13, that talks about love. And starting in verse 4, it says, love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, and thinks no evil. And, you know, when we think about love, then we think about all that was happening in our world today. It's kind of going um, contrary to love, isn't it? And yet when we think about love, the one word I think about when I think about love is the word consistent. It's consistent. It never fails. It doesn't react just because somebody's mean to you. I mean, think about Jesus on the cross. And, you know, the scripture, you know, it points out to the fact that um, we have this thing called the fruit of the spirit and love is one of the fruits of the spirit. So if you um, are a believer today, you've got Jesus living inside you, you own it, you own love. And so this love needs to be consistent in your life. And in my life, this, that's really what makes a difference. When everything else ends, love will continue. And love is what's allowed us to have eternal life because of the love of the Father for you and I. It sent Jesus to the cross. He was willing to die for you and I because he loves us so much. And his love is living inside every believer. So he goes on in verse 6. He says, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, love never fails. Guys, I hope that you will be consistent in your love. In the world that we're living in, with all the changes happening, we need to see love consistently. Till next time, I hope you have a blessed week. See you.